Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're gonna go over how to code our animation into our game. So with that said, let's code this. Okay, so welcome back and here I have like I said in the previous video I'm just gonna animate all those videos that I have in the animation design. I'm gonna save it all together and speed it up to save some time. And uh, here's the result. Uh, right after I'm done with that, I'm gonna go over the code, how to animate. So, uh, right after this speed up version is done, we're gonna go over the code. So stick around for the rest of it. Alright, so uh, let's get started with our code over here. I already put all those uh, sprites over here. Uh, they look pretty good when animated on the Alien Bills uh, web app. So I don't know how it's going to look in the code, but uh, let's find out. So uh, let's do the things that we need first. And first, we're going to need a few frames counter. So players frame counter. So each one of them is going to have a different one. Is this capital L? No. Oh. oh, it looks almost the same. So. Okay, so here is players frame counter, player zero, frame counter. Let's give it one by, and the same thing is for player one. So, uh, where, where are we? Mm. And now we're right over here, the part I want to be. So let me assemble this, and here's our character. In order to animate, all we're going to have to do is change these sprites ever so often with our frame counter. And to change it, uh, let's see, player, let's say jump. If I change both of this value, low and high bytes, assemble, so here it is, a different uh, sprite. And to animate, you're just going to have to uh, update the sprite ever so often, and that's where your frame counter is going to come in. And uh, before that, let's just remove this uh, player sprite that I had before, because I don't really need it. I'm just going to play player idle, so I'll replace this. In idle, in move left is the exact same, uh, exact same sprite. But so let me assemble, see if nothing bad. Oh, here it is. Everything's fine. So now let's uh, come over here, a player zero pointer, and change those values. Uh, actually, just gonna do this frame first. Player zero. Uh, player zero. Frame counter, we're gonna increment the value. We're gonna load A with the value. And then we're gonna end three. Let me show this in binary. So 
So here you have a whole binary. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. So n3 means is only all the value is going to have is always going to be up to 3. I'm going to store the different counter. And then what I'm going to do is low uh, transfer hux so we got that right so let me just see if nothing bad happens okay everything's good so now we're gonna need a table to load this and if you remember uh player idle is the whole address plus eight which is player high minus one so to do that we're gonna have to choose set a table for our our uh, values for the low and high bytes so let's come over here under data area it's a good place and uh, let's have over here player animation let me put low pointer and what we're gonna do is have a byte value and you want our low value oh, let's put dot pointer a low byte, uh, the exact same thing as this actually. Come over here, and we want to do the same thing, but this time it's going to be the high byte. High, and we're going to change this to the high order. So now let's do four of this since there's four frames, and it's easier to demonstrate. So you're going to have move left and zero over here. So let's come over here. One, two, one, two. So let's, uh, let's assemble, see if nothing bad happens. All right, so everything's good. Um, save this and now let's come up over here and now let's uh, just load a value over here so for now let's let's say player animation low pointer X and you go the same thing over here but this time it's going to be the high pointer high pointer and an X and just to demo, see if it works, let's uh, change the value of x over here. Let's run it, and here it is, it's x, okay, so the pl player 0. Let's uh, go to 2, see how that works. Here's the next frame up, and let's go to 3. See if nothing bad, okay, so it's as expected to happen, uh, happen over here. So now let's just use our frame counter over here and see how this goes. So here is my my sprite going ridiculously fast. So now let's mm, let's cut that in half. And all we're gonna do is double the amount we have over here. Where did it go? Okay. So it's four. It's gonna be a. So let's double that and do a, a logic right shift sh shift right. I've got the names wrong. So if you if I run over here, oh, and let me remove this. So here is my uh, sprite going a little bit slower. I'm gonna kind of weird it's now that I see it running the upper the upper body doesn't move oh, I don't know how I'm gonna change I'll probably I'll see how I'm gonna change this but here we have our sprite moving uh, left and right so that's pretty much how it works uh, to in order now to you can do the same thing for player one and uh, I think that's pretty much gonna be it for this video I don't have a lot of time left but in the next video 
uh, I'm gonna come over here on our uh, inputs and we're gonna change that we're gonna change our frame counter over here but as you can see all of it is working uh, our sprite is being animated right now so uh, with that said uh, thanks for watching and uh, stick around for the next video we're gonna finish this off so thank you guys and see you then